According to reports, the late Precious Ikwikumi, who is due to graduate from the Health Technology Institute this year, have been having a disagreement with the 27-year-old man identified as John Ipo, who is from Agenebode in the Sako East local government area of Edo State for the past months. The young girl was said to have decided to end the relationship with the man who insisted that the affair must continue. The said suspect was alleged to have threatened to take her life if she ends the affairs. The situation forced the deceased to send an audio to the suspect's friend in Benicity, where she expressed fear over the plan by the suspect to kill her if she ends the relationship. But what I want to let you know, be say, no be those two boys, now make me the do all those, sir. He don't say where they tell you, no be today. John say me no fit tell her, say I don't tire for the relationship. He say, now he tell me, say he like me, so now he go tell me. Now he tell her, say, even if you force me the date, she you know, say you no go force me marry. I don't want you to know, no. It's better we get broken relationship now than broken marriage. If you want to talk, you go say, eh, he don't say where the date they come, I hope for the comfort. In fact, but what do you call, they do call. I know fit my brother, I know fit that. If it could be say truly, because of say, I say I know they did John, now I call her me or he call community. But me no go no say, me no say, even if he kill me, it shall never be well with him. My blood go always they cry for head. That is what I Well, I already make up my mind. If it be say, na die, I want to die for this relationship matter. If he keep, uh, uh, fly away, you know the year world, now they follow cops to the grave. That is me. Since I know the year world, anything where John called to me, I go be around. And it's what it be. The young girl then went underground after the threat. But on Sunday, 1st May 2022, the deceased was on her way to church around 8 a.m. when the suspect accosted her in a lowly area and dragged her to an uncompleted building in the area and have her murdered. It was revealed that the suspect who knocked her down allegedly used her scarf to strangulate her and she died on the spot. The suspect then dumped her lifeless body in the bush around the uncompleted building and escaped to a known destination. Since on the 1st of May 2022, the young girl was declared missing after the family reported her sudden disappearance to the police. Using high technical means, the suspect was arrested while the phones of the deceased young girl were recovered from him. After an extensive investigation, the suspect admitted to the police to have murdered the undergraduate and consequently took the police investigative team from the office of the Anti-Kidnapping and Cyber Crime Unit of the Edo State Police Command to the site where he dumped the lifeless body. The suspect said he killed the girl out of anger, claiming that he dated the girl for four years before she suddenly said the relationship should end. We came here together. We were sitting down in that corridor where we were discussing. Mm. So we were not uh, having misunderstanding. So we were not dragging. The process now she now fall a hit. She blood was now rushing out from her mouth mm -hmm. and nose. Mm -hmm. Then that process now don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I have not collected that scalp to tie her neck mm -hmm. before she now gave up. So after they are not pushed out to this place. I okay. Left. When you tied it, you tied it very tight. Yes, sir. So that she can die. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. So after she died, what did you now do? I now pushed. Push out to the bush. You okay, now pushed out to this bush. The landlord of the deceased and her security staff of her school expressed shock over the mother as they described the girl as intelligent and calm. The roommate said she left home on Sunday on her way to church and up to that moment of calling me, they've not seen her, they've not heard from her. And he said, ah. Okay. You know this girl? Yes, yeah, she's my tenant. How long has she been there? She has been, she has been two years plus now. As a student? As a student. So what did you hear? Uh, it was about three weeks ago. We went to church. We came back. They said she went to Oman. We came back from church. We didn't see her. Uh, when I, on Tuesday, on Monday, we started calling her. Her number was not going. Her number was not going. We were confused. Oh, yeah. I called the mother of the village. I will not inform the mother. This girl that died now? Yes. You know her? Yes. I'm, Who is she? I'm meeting with her, with her picture here. Okay, uh, let's see. This is a picture. This is a picture. Yes. I'll be posting on our, our platform. We'll be looking for her. Our students in the UBT uh, school. Which school is that? UBT uh, school. Okay, this is uh, East of Health Technology? Exactly. Okay. Uh, it's our student. As at press time, an ambulance was already on ground to convert the decaying body to the mortuary. According to the Commissioner of Police, CP Abutu Yaro, 
the police will make a statement in due course. This is the situation right now behind St. Patrick Catholic Church here at Ubo in Benisi, where the body of the young girl that was allegedly murdered by her boyfriend was recovered by men of the anti-kidnapping and cyber crime unit of the Ado State Police Command. The lover has since confessed to the police of what transpired that led to the death of the young girl. In Benin, Festus, Alenke, EBS News.